Hi everyone, my name is Miguel Zamora and today I'm going to talk to you about POTS, Policy Optimization via Differentiable Simulation. My collaborators are Monchil Pechev, Sehun Ha, Martin Bechev and Estelian Kors. Neural network policies are beginning to produce promising results when it comes to dealing with complex manipulation tasks and very often these policies are trained using simulation technologies that create realistic environments. Such simulations, however, are mainly used as black boxes that provided the current state and the current action will return an X state. Currently, there is a new and emerging class of differentiable simulators that provided the same information can also output derivatives that represent how the next state changes as the current action changes. These simulators are now capable of dealing with a wide variety of systems, ranging from closed deformation, fracture dynamics, deformable objects that interact with fluids, and even friction. Moreover, some of these efforts have been validated in the real world. So, with all the progress in this area, this is an ideal time to ask the question, how can we best leverage such simulators for policy learning? A current trend, and a very tempting one, is to incorporate the simulation as a differentiable layer in our computation graph. So, for a deterministic setting with fixed time horizon t, all the information of the rollout is combined into the RL objective, which can then be optimized directly in parameter space theta by computing the policy gradient using the derivatives of the associated value function, which is equivalent to back propagation through time. However, this comes with certain limitations, as it generally uses first order optimization methods and it can also suffer from the well known problem of exploding and vanishing gradients. To avoid such problems, our approach consists of two steps, a policy improvement step in trajectory space and a policy update in parameter space. During the policy improvement, we first roll out policy pi to gather a sequence of actions to initialize policy a bar, defined in trajectory space. That way, the value function of both policies is the same initially, and we can then proceed to update a bar using the gradient of the value function in trajectory space. Note that in order to compute such gradient, the only piece of information that we require from the differential simulator is the Jacobian dsda bar. Moreover, without requiring any additional information from the simulator, it is also possible to efficiently compute a second order improvement as detailed in the paper. Finally, the policy update in parameter space can be done by minimizing an imitation learning loss of the monotonically improved actions. To test our approach, we introduce a set of fine manipulation tasks that require very precise actions, which in this case are handle velocities, and the goal of the task is to make a system of point masses go to stop as fast as possible or to make them stop at a specific location. We show that using the second order update rule, pods can outperform common RL baselines in terms of sample efficiency and final performance. Moreover, despite the additional operations required to compute the second order update rule, pods is in overall 10 to 30 times faster than other approaches. Pods can also be used for more complex and higher dimensional tasks. As, as an example, we introduce the problem of placing a piece of cloth on a table, which involves frictional contacts where POTS is still able to learn high-quality policies, as shown in the right. In conclusion, we consider POTS is a very promising approach to leverage differentiable simulators for policy learning, and we are very excited about the future work that it can enable. Thanks for your attention.